What's going, man? What's up? And welcome back to another video. First off, I just want to start this video off by saying RIP to the legendary Akira Toriyama, created the greatest anime of all time and the most influential anime of all time, man. And he just passed away, and that shit is heartbreaking. This video is made. And I love Dragon Ball. It's one of my favorite animes ever, along with One Piece and other things like that. So I want to watch this video and see what he put in there. Hopefully in this video, he should have the three things that I have to see in this video for the video to be valid is Goku turning into Super Saiyan for the first time. That's iconic as shit. Um, Gohan going Super Saiyan 2 against Cell. And Vegeta's speech against Majin Buu when he sacrificed himself. Those three things need to be in this video. If they're not in this video, I'm gonna be a little disappointed, but let's go ahead and get into this one. Man, Goku vs. Cell was such a good fight. Welcome to Watch he made Go Go fight. That shit was crazy, crazy plot twist. For the most memorable scenes and moments from the Dragon Ball franchise. <laughs> The passing of Dragon Ball creator Akira Toriyama has been a devastating blow to the anime, manga, and video game communities. His impact on these mediums cannot be overstated, and without him, anime may not have the worldwide appeal it does to this day. Facts. From this Dragon is Ball Dragon Ball Z is Dragon literally Quest, what got me Dr. into anime. To Chrono Trigger, I watched Dragon Ball live on in the for the first time with my mom when I was like Thank in you, second Akira grade, Toriyama. and ever since then I was hooked on anime. And I've been watching anime since. I've watched so much anime because of Dragon Ball. Number 10, Goku defeats King Piccolo. Dragon it's valid. <laughs> I will never first stop big, until I've defeated First big you. villain defeated. Arguably the strongest King Piccolo. That Goku faces as a child is King Facts. Piccolo. The vile Namekian battles the young fighter as his previous opponent Tian Shenhan watches. I have you now! Yeah, he was a good villain. However, Emperor Pilaf was Goku weak. Proves surprisingly strong, Piccolo resorts to Piccolo taking more. Tien hostage. This allows him to break or injure nearly all of Goku's limbs. We say nearly because Goku's right arm remains unharmed. King Piccolo is confident in his victory, but Goku manages to propel himself using a Kamehameha to punch straight through his opponents. It's time for your terror to end! <laughs> Not only is this a brutal and creative finish, but this moment also marks the birth of Goku's rival and later ally, Piccolo Jr. I was gonna, I was gonna say, you can't forget nine, about the nigga spitting out there. Hey, that was disgusting. Dragon Ball Z. Speaking of finishing moves, DBZ has its fair share of memorable ones too. Now you die! This is pretty good. Oh, shit on my screen. In the finale of the Cell Saga, Gohan is engaged in a beam struggle against Cell. The green monstrosity is stronger than ever after his resurrection, and Gohan can only use one arm. However, with some coaching from his late papa Goku, Gohan delivers a Kamehameha that overcomes Cell and vaporizes him for good. Hey, so I know this Kamehameha, this was fire, but do y'all do remember the movie where um it was it was it was a movie where they were kind of like fighting in like a tournament but then um like trunks was there future trunks and then uh i forgot the nigga name it was like barba duke or barba whatever something not baba duke um it was like bar something and um it was gohan goten and then goku he was dead at the time and they did a father like son son kamehameha wave I think that one was better than this one, but that's a movie, so it's not canon and shit, but I like that Kamehameha better than this one, because cause it was all three of them instead of just Goku, Goku and, um, 
Anytime multiple characters Gohan. do a Kamehameha, and it was it is a Goku, cool, Gohan, and Goten. But the fact that one of them is a ghost, and it's done to defeat a big bad as bad as Cell, ensured that fans would never forget it. Now you're dead! <laughs> It left us hungry for more. Enough to Facts. eat a horse, in fact. Number eight, Goku's goodbye. Dragon this is pretty Ball good GT. too. Look, GT gets a lot of flack, but we'll give it this. It knew how to do an ending. I have more crazy relatives than I'll ever know what to do with. Hey, one thing I will say about Dragon Ball GT is that it had one of the coolest like villains of all the, all time. Omega Shinron is one of the coolest villains ever. No cap. And they're all heroes. In the future, after all the other Dragon Warriors or Z Fighters have passed on, we see Goku's granddaughter Pan at a tournament. She spots her grandfather in the crowd. And while she loses him, we follow Goku as flashbacks from throughout the Dragon Ball franchise play. Grandpa? Let me through, please. <gasps> After seeing how far we've come, the narrator assures us that should the world need him again, Goku will return. The dub even has Goku signing off himself as he flies away on Nimbus, power pole in hand. The Man, that, that shit made me cry when I was a kid, bro. Again, we couldn't hope for a more fitting ending than this one. I was so sad the show was over, bro. That shit made me cry. Number seven, the first Kamehameha, Dragon Ball. In the annals of anime attacks, the Kamehameha is among the most iconic, which is sure. its debut all the way back in Dragon Ball remains close to fans' hearts. Goku and company call on Master Roshi to put out a fire on Fire Mountain. Hey, I think Kamehameha and then Gallic Gun and then um, Special Beam Cannon might be the most popular attacks. And let's lose his famous beam attack, putting out the fire and destroying the mountain. Goku is quite impressed and decides to try it out for himself, managing it easily. And the rest is history. Me -ha, me -ha! Number six, Trunks slices freezer. Man, this was Dragon good Ball too. Z. You're about to find out what it's like to fight a real super Saiyan. First, this was a great first impression of future Trunks, man. The introduction of Trunks into the series is among the most impactful and memorable in the show. Facts. Freezer has a great show of power. Earth, his dad in tow, and seemingly stronger with his cyborg modifications. But then Trunks shows up, a mysterious youth with a sword. Not only that, but he's Super Saiyan as well. Excuse me, is this yours? <laughs> After tanking a massive attack from Frieza, Trunks tosses an overly dramatic shot at the Space Emperor, only to surprise him from behind with his sword. Hey, Frieza! Huh? Huh? Slice that nigga up into the pieces. Franchise's biggest villain to this point into mincemeat instantly made an impression. It also made fans everywhere immediately label him as one of the coolest characters ever. I was just going to say five, that, but he said it for me. Ballot, this Dragon is the first one. This is the first one. Vegeta is a character defined by his pride. After once again turning to evil in his attack. Hey, can we say how? Can we also say how Majin Vegeta is one of the most, like, like best written characters? Like, Majin Vegeta might be, like, the best part of Dragon Ball Z Kai. I'm not going to say like Dragon Ball or a Dragon Ball Super. Dragon Ball Z Kai, Majin Vegeta might have been the best thing about that whole Frieza saga, Cell saga, Boo saga. He might have been the best thing about all of that. No cap, in my opinion. To Do y'all agree or not? Let me know. Vegeta finally returns to his senses during the battle with Majin Buu. He bids farewell to his son, Trunks, even knocking him out to prevent him from fighting. Even Piccolo telling Vegeta he'll go to hell 
isn't enough to deter him. You, on the other hand, have spent your life in pursuit of your own selfish desires. You've caused too much pain. When you die, you will not receive the same reward. Oh well. So be it. With one last blast, the Prince of All Saiyans This shit made me cry too, man. Vegeta was my favorite character. To kill Boo. Trunks. Bulma. I do this for you. And yes. Even you, Kakarot. Kakarot. This man. may not be the end for Vegeta, but it does mark a major turning point for his character. At last becoming a proper hero. Facts. Even the narrator came back to pay respects. <laughs> And so, one of the Earth's greatest warriors has vanished in a blinding flash of light, having made the ultimate sacrifice for the sake of his loved ones. His name was Vegeta, a proud Saiyan prince. Number four, Goku and Vegeta's beam clash. This Dragon was definitely Z. iconic. Their first there fight, beam struggles, for sure and iconic. Then there's this. Vegeta and Goku's first battle is loaded with iconic moments, but this is easily the one everybody thinks of first. Goku goes all out with Kaioken, which puts his body on the line, managing to overwhelm Vegeta. This shouldn't be happening. I don't understand. I am a super elite. Now he sealed his fate. This planet is history. I'll destroy everything, everything! Do you hear me, Kakarot? Insulted that a lower class foe has injured him, Vegeta decides to blow up the planet with his Gallic gun. With no other option, Goku fires a Kamehameha to meet it. Gallic gun! Man. This is getting flashbacks, man. We live in my youth. No, no. If I knew this was going to happen, I would have eaten more pizza and ice cream. That's Rogi was weak as fuck, man. I damn near hated that nigga. Goku pushes his Kaioken even further to come out on top. In this exchange, at least. The image of their two attacks meeting is burned into Dragon Ball fans' brains, like Vegeta's anger at Goku. The Kaioken! No! Goku! Time for! Number three, Gohan's Super Saiyan 2. And that's two out of three. Dragon okay, Ball so Z. Super Saiyan gonna be number one probably. That's all I needed. Smash. I got Gohan's all three, two, two out of three so far. Dark. I know my third one's the last one. Against the I'm valid. Bug man with little preamble. And when Cell unleashes his brood of Cell Juniors against. Bro, another thing I want to talk about, bro. This nigga had the the like greatest villain designs ever. When Cell first came on the screen, and I was a chit seeing Cell, that was like the scariest nigga alive, bro. And then Majin Buu, that's like the greatest villain ever, bro. Along with like Frieza and shit. Bro, this nigga has great villain design build intention for like villains, bro. That shit is great, bro. I love a good villain. Gohan's friends, the young fighter can only watch. Please drop yeah, your man. restraints. What is this, Protect Android 16? The life I loved. Uh, Shout out Android 16. Strength. My scanners sensed it. Just let it go. An emotional speech from Android 16, hoping to inspire Gohan, takes a dark turn as Cell stomps on the cybernetic man's head, killing 16. Turns out that was you enough lost to push after Gohan that. over the edge. I won't watch this anymore! I hate the way they did Gohan, man. They shouldn't have made him a little nerd. Cry and plenty of tears, Gohan reaches Super Saiyan 2. With the crackle of lightning and the drying of tears, we know that the son has surpassed the father. For the moment, at least. Number two, Ultra Instinct. Man, oh my Super. God, the this shit was so good. has plenty of hype moments, but the one that literally broke the internet was this one. Seriously, multiple streaming sites went down. Goku's done it, has Bro, Dragon Ball is such a beautiful anime. That shit be making me cry like, like, like Jiren just off. Like. With Jiren, 
Our hero like, is on fights the and shit alone. I don't even need emotional states. shit to happen. A, technique that a good fight is enough to bring a tear to my eye, no cap. It's the whole attacking back bar that Goku struggles with. But as Jiren aims to ring Goku out, the Saiyan fighter's power continues to rise, and he eventually starts hitting back with his aura and hair taking on a divinely shimmering light. This is the true power. Complete in all its majesty. Shout out Lord Beerus, bro. As modern Dragon Ball goes, it doesn't get much more hype than this. The drippiest That's why nigga we have ever. To go back. This is Autonomous Ultra Instinct. Mm, beautiful form. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel. All right, and make sure y'all subscribe to me Dragon too. Dragon Ball Z. When it comes Obviously, to anime transformations, Super so there go all three of my requests. The most iconic of all, and the debut rocked the Dragon Ball fandom and is still making waves decades later. Goku and company believe they finally defeated Frieza. If you think that your little friends can escape me, you are sadly mistaken. Unfortunately, they're wrong. The evil tyrant reappears and kills Krillin. Frieza, Man, this shit, this shit was heartbreaking and. Like, so overwhelming with gas. The death of his best friend. I try to go Goku Super Saiyan, like, so probably a million times. His power I still try to go the Super Saiyan. Changes and his hair turns golden. Mm. Frieza isn't dealing with the average Saiyan warrior anymore, and fans weren't dealing with the average Dragon Ball either. All right, this so is this is this is basically the ending of the video, and we obviously know this was the most iconic moment. This was a great video. He gave me my three requests, which is all I can ask for, and I can validate the list. It was a very good list. But my computer is about to die, which is what I used to record my my audio and shit. So I'm gonna have to end this one here. But I hope that y'all enjoyed, man. If y'all did, leave a like, comment, subscribe, share, turn the post notification bells on. And once again, bro, RIP to the legendary, legendary, legendary Akira Toriyama, bro. And peace, love, and positivity, and I will catch y'all on the next one, man. It's two options in this world. Is you gonna win or lose? Is you gonna take the risk or not? You know you gotta choose. Yeah, I can't keep one, so all my bitches come in twos.